Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this very exciting and challenging video on quartic equations, here we are going to take up x times x plus root 2 times x plus root 8 times x plus root 18 equal to 5. We have to find out real solutions. I will share two different ways to proceed this question. Let me write here method 1. And here I will be writing our equation as x times x plus root 2. Now x plus root 8. So we can write 2 root 2. Root 18 can be written as 3 root 2. Right hand side is 5. Now let's write first and last bracket all together. Second and second last term all together. So x plus 2 root 2 equal to 5. Now multiply these two and these two. So I can write x square plus 3 root 2x. Here. And x times x, x square plus 2 root 2 plus root 2. 3 root 2x. Root 2 times 2 root. So 2 times 2, 4 equal to 5. Now I can write x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2 minus 2 added and subtracted 2 in first bracket. Second bracket x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2 plus 2 equal to 5. Now if I will consider this is a 2 is b then first bracket is a minus b. This was a, 2 was b, in between sign is plus. So a minus b times a plus b, we will apply here a square minus b square. So I need to write a square, x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2 whole square minus b square minus 2 square equal to 5. Now I will add 2 square to both sides. So I can write x square plus 3 root 2 x plus 2 whole square it will be equal to 5 plus 2 square. So 5 plus 4 it is 9. So I can write x square plus 3 times square root 2 times x plus 2 whole square. It will be equal to 9 is 3 square. Now we will take square root both sides. So x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2. This will be equal to plus minus 3. Now I can frame two equations from here. 1 with plus 3, another with minus 3. So x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2 equal to 3. And second equation will be x square plus 3 root 2x plus 2 equal to negative 3. So quadratic we will write x square plus 3 root 2x minus 1 equal to 0 first quadratic equation and second would be x square plus 3 root 2 x plus 5 equal to 0. Let us solve both the equations one by one. Let me write here x square plus 3 root 2 x minus 1 equal to 0. And second equation was x square plus 3 root 2x plus 5 equal to 0. So I will apply quadratic formula to solve these quadratic equations. So let me apply for the first one x is equal to minus b. So minus 3 root 2 plus minus under the root b square it will be 3 times 3 times 2. So 18 plus 4 divided by 2a 
माइनस थ्री रूट टू प्लस माइनस रूट ट्वेंटी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू आई विल टेक रूट टू कॉमन फ्रॉम द न्यूमरेटर देन वी कैन राइट माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस रूट इलेवन बाई टू और वी कैन राइट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस रूट इलेवन डिवाइडेड बाई रूट सो दिस इज अवर रियल वैल्यू सोल्यूशन लेट एस कंसिडर सेकेंड क्वाड्रेटिक आई विल अप्लाई क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला अगेन माइनस बी सो माइनस थ्री टाइम्स रूट टू प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट एटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू एयर वी आर गेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन दिस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नेगेटिव टू सो आई विल बी राइटिंग आई टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू आई विल रिजेक्ट दिस एज वी आर गेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन so rejected so which solution we will accept it is minus 3 plus minus root 11 over root 2 or we can write root 2 times minus 3 plus minus root 11 over 2 let's see method number 2 let me write our equation x times x plus root 2 times x plus 2 root 2 Times x plus three root two equal to five. Root two, two root two, three root two. So if I will find out average of all the values, then it will become three by two root two or one point five root two. So let me consider our substitution. X plus three by two root two. It will be equal to a. Or I can write x plus one point five root two. Equal to a, both are same. Now I will be writing the other brackets. So I will be writing x plus root two. Value in terms of a, x plus two root two, x plus three root two, and lastly x. So x is a minus one point five root two. Now x plus root two. It is a minus 1.5. No, it will be 0.5 root 2. X plus 2 root 2. It is a plus 0.5 root 2. And x plus 3 root 2 will be a plus 1.5 root 2. Let us apply these values to our equation. So I can write our equation will become. i will write x plus let me write here let's write directly so i will be writing a minus 3 by 2 root 2 in one bracket in other bracket a plus 3 root 2 root 2 third bracket a plus half it will be i will write root 2 by 2 fourth bracket will have root 2 by 2 with minus sign in between right hand side is 5 so i will club these two and i will club these two so it is a plus b a minus b form so i will apply the difference of two squares identity so let us apply i will write here a square minus 18 over 2 it will be 9 over 2 second bracket i will be writing a square minus half equal to 5 now i will multiply so it will give us a power 4 minus 5a square plus 9 by 4 equal to 5 take all the term to lhs a power 4 minus 5a square then 9 minus 20 i will write directly 11 by 4 equal to 0 multiply this equation by 4 4a power 4 minus 20a square minus 11 equal to zero. This is one quadratic equation in a square. So better is to consider a square is equal to t. So I can write 4t square 
minus 20 t minus 11 equal to 0. Remember a square is our t. Let's solve this quadratic first. So I will be writing here equation once 4 t square minus 20 t minus 11 equal to 0. So t will be equal to 20 plus minus square root of 400 minus 4 a c so 176 divided by 2 a so 8 20 plus minus square root 576 divided by 8 20 plus minus square root 576 is 24 divided by 8 so with plus sign it is 44 over 8 with minus sign it is minus 4 over 8 so this was our t and t was our substitution a square so i will be writing a square so we can reject this minus 4 over 8 for real solutions so this is rejected so this value we will accept let us simplify 44 over 8 it will be 11 over 2 and this is equal to a square so i can write from here a is equal to plus minus square root 11 over square root 2 or i can write plus minus root 22 over 2 this is our a now a was our substitution so let us put the value of a a was x plus 1.5 root 2 equal to plus minus root 22 over 2. Now I can take away 1.5 root 2 from both sides. So I will write x is equal to minus 3 by 2 root 2 plus minus root 22 by 2. Now denominator is common 2. So I will be writing minus 3 root 2 plus minus root 22 or we can take root 2 common so we can write here minus 3 plus minus root 11 divided by 2 so this is our answer we can write or we can write also x is equal to minus 3 plus minus root 11 over root 2 and this brings the end of the video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye